Oh, hello, it's Heather. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create augmented reality image anchor experiences that are curved, like a coffee mug or a wine label, or conical, like a coffee sleeve, using 8th wall. By the way, this snazzy pumpkin filter was created by Brady on Snapchat, so yeah, thanks Brady. With that, let's get going. So there's many reasons I'm using 8th Wall for this experience. Uh, number one, they have web-based augmented reality, which means that it's highly accessible and people don't actually have to download a separate application to view your AR. And also they have a fantastic pre-built template, which is very easy to use. And uh, with that, let's jump in. I'll show you how I did it. So I love Halloween. It's probably a surprise to zero people. Um, and I created this illustration uh, to celebrate Halloween and I wanted to create a Halloween AR mug. So I did this illustration in Procreate, then I brought it into Photoshop, cleaned it up just a little bit, and then I named the individual layers using a file extension name, so .png or .jpg. Then you go up to File, Automate, Generator Plugins, Image Assets, and that's automatically going to create all of your image assets for you so that you don't have to export each one individually, which can be a great time saver. From there, I brought in all of my assets into After Effects, and I won't be covering the animation techniques. Obviously, this is an AR tutorial, but just know this is what I did. I then exported this file uh, as a MP4 with no sound, which is looping, a perfect loop. So from there, I have all of the assets that I need for creating this experience. So let's jump into 8th Wall. So first off, you need an 8th Wall account, obviously. Once you have that ready to go, go ahead and open this URL. It's also linked down below. And then we're going to go ahead and hit Clone Project. Now let's give it a good name. Know that this can't be changed later. This is actually going to be the URL for your project. So for me, I'm going to say Curved Image Target. Okay, now that it's cloned it, let's go ahead and go over the basic interface. Now, first off, we have the, these icons on the left-hand corner, of course. So we have access to all of your projects. So we have the project dashboard right here. Then this is the editor where you're going to access the code for your projects, which we'll get into later. You've got source control. This is essentially like GitHub where you're going to be checking in um, all of your changes. It's really good for versioning control. Down below that, you've got image targets, which we'll dive into in a second. And down below, we have a couple other things, which we're not going to cover today, so let's fast forward. So this has some built-in assets for you in both the media folder and the models folder. If we click on body, that's actually going to show you how it created all of the stuff that you're seeing in this preview panel over here. It's accessing 3D models and a video in two different image anchors. Right here we have a cylindrical image anchor for the wine label and we have one for the conical. So let's go ahead and jump into how we actually create the image targets themselves. That's really the first step. So let's go over to image targets on the left hand side. And I'm going to be creating a Halloween coffee mug which is a cylinder. So go ahead and hit cylinder. From here, we're just going to drag and drop our image target, which I exported the, the whole illustration as my image target. Then I'm going to hit next. From here, I'm actually going to zoom in on an area that has a lot of great detail. Really, the less empty space it's trying to track, the better it will perform. So try to get a section of your image or illustration that has a lot of fine detail. Hit create. It'll take a second and then it's going to give you this preview of what it looks like on the cylinder or the mug. So you could adjust how curved that object is. So if it was a wine bottle, it might be a little skinnier. Coffee mugs are a little bit bigger. Take note of what this says up here and change it if you want to. We're going to be using that later. You can also test this automatically in real time if you scan your phone here and you have um, whatever object you're trying to create for. Then hit close. It's going to save it for us and you can tell everything's ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and delete the built-ins just because it's good to keep things clean. All right, now let's go back to the editor. So for here, you'll actually see A assets. This is where you um, you put all of the assets that you're going to use in your experience first, and then you call them later. Now, we're not going to use any of these um, models 
So I'm going to go ahead and delete them just to clean them up. We, we are going to be using a video, which we'll get into in a second. Now over here in the media folder, I need to add my assets. So let's go ahead and hit the plus sign under assets. I'm going to hit upload and I'm just going to select both my image target and my video. And then I'm going to put them under the media folder just to be tidy. And I'm going to go ahead and delete the assets I'm not going to use. Okie doke. House cleaning done. Let's go ahead and customize the code for our assets. We're going to change this ID to Halloween video for the video. Change the file itself. Okie dokie. Now, one other thing. I want to make sure that this automatically starts playing the video on loop as soon as a person scans the image anchor. Now to do this, we're going to have to add another tag, which is muted. This is a something that's going to play well with iOS. If you don't do this um, and you try to automatically play it, it's basically going to play like a black screen. So just know that you need to do this if you want to use autoplay. And I do. Okay, so we've given it the ID of Halloween video. We've told it where the source is, which is that Halloween video. And we've told it to mute. Now down here, we're actually going to set up our image anchors. Now we're not doing a, a conical um, image anchor, which would be like a coffee sleeve or something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. Uh, we are going to be using the cylindrical one, but it's not for wine. It's for a mug. Okay. So from here, we're going to change the name of the image target to the name of the image target that we imported earlier, which was just Halloween dash target. It is case sensitive, so beware. And we're going to change the ID of the video that it's going to play to Halloween video. Again, case sensitive. Now you'll notice here it actually says XR extras dash target dash video dash fade. What's cool about this little um, this little tag is that it's actually going to fade the video in when someone scans the object and it just creates a nice clean user experience. So that's it basically. Now we just need to test it and make sure that it's working. So what you do is you hit save and build. It's going to send it to the cloud for you. Check it in. And then from there, we can actually hit preview and test it uh, with our own phone. So hit preview, it's gonna give you a QR code. Go ahead and scan that puppy. And we're gonna try it um, on an actual object. Now it's gonna be looking again for whatever shape you designated. Uh, when I was prototyping this, I just basically printed out a picture of my illustration and like taped it to a coffee mug to get like the general curvature right. Um, and it worked just fine. And that, is it. I wanted to keep this short and sweet and to the point so you can get in and out and start making your experiences. So um, if you're happy with everything and the way that it looks, the next step is essentially to land it and then publish it. And you're ready to go. You're going to get a URL, which you can then give to anyone, and they can access your experience using their web browser. If you are interested in having your very own gravely misunderstood AR Halloween mug, they are on my store, which is linked below. It's a great way to ring in spooky season with a hot piping mug of um, pumpkin spice or blood, you know, whatever your thing is. I do hope that this has been helpful for you and maybe even inspiring. Uh, if so, maybe like and subscribe. And until next time, happy making and happy Halloween.